<laughs> right when you think you cool with a person or you think they're going to be the, your best friend or, you know, you think this person is going to be your girlfriend, boyfriend, man, everything is going just fine, right? And then when they start playing mind games, let the games begin. Listen, man, it's your big brother, Trend Genius. Listen to this whole video. You don't want to miss what I'm about to tell you. I'm about to put you on some game to keep this from happening so often in your life, okay? Decepticons are running rampant, all right? And the only thing that they usually want to do is they want to attract and attach themselves with a great person like you. Somebody that's going somewhere in life, a person that got the right mindset, somebody that's full of life, okay? You will begin to attract these toxic people into your life who play in mind games with you. And if you don't know how to detect them, then they're going to keep playing the same game with you. All right. So listen to this whole entire video. And at the end of the video, your big brother, Trend Genius, got something very special for you. All right. Now, this is the first thing you should know when it comes down to dealing with people and pl them playing mind games on you. You should never, ever have to fight for, some, for nobody else's attention. If this person is putting you in a position to where you got to fight for their attention, you got to fight for their time, you got to fight to get a response back for them. If they making you feel like you got to go above and beyond just to get in contact with them, just to speak with them, then that's a flag right there that they already playing mind games with you. It ain't no person on earth that's that special and that valuable to the point that if they really like you and they really cherish and they really do find you interesting for you to have to fight for their attention, all right? They playing mind games with you, all right? And so one thing you should never do is don't never go out of your way. Don't never go out of your own character just to try to reach out to somebody and try to make them or get them to want to associate with you. If they not associate with you and you know y'all exchange numbers, you know that's your friend, you know what they said they was going to do with you, and they trying to act all brand new, they trying not to respond, they start playing mind games like they forgot or something like that, then you already know that they giving you a direct or, I'm sorry, an indirect message that they are playing mind games with you and they not to be taken seriously. They know exactly what they doing, but see, they want to reverse psychology and make you feel like you don't know what you're doing because they want the type of attention either that you have and they don't have. So they want you to like chase them. They want you to like do all this extra stuff just to get their attention. Don't do that. Okay, that's rule number one. Don't do that. If you got somebody in your life that's playing mind games with you, do not try to fight for their attention. It's not worth it. They are not worth it. The next thing you need to know is when people start playing mind games with you, they making it obvious that they trying to use you. All right. And they could be trying to use you for your status, your popularity, for your job, for your relationship, for your friendships, you know, for your benefits, whatever. They trying to use you for something. You just don't know what it is. These people are wishy-washy like that. You don't really know what their motive is. But I can guarantee you, it's something that they're using you for, okay? They could be using you for sex. They could be using for you for your looks. They could be using you for your money. They could be using you for your car. They could be using you for your information and knowledge. They're using you for something, all right? And they, nine times out of ten, they trying to, the reason why they playing mind games with you is because they don't want you to discover who they are, all right? These people try to stay undetected, low key. They don't want you to figure them out. Once they feel like you already, you know, catching on to what they doing and, you know, who they really are behind that, that cover, they'll try to run to the hills, to their cabin, and then look back at you with the binoculars. You know, they want to remain undetected, but little do they know, you can see through all of it, you know? And the thing about these people is, these people that play mind games with you, for some strange reason, in their mind, they think, they think that they are so mysterious that can't nobody figure them out, all right? Well, we got to figure it out in this video already, all right? And so, like I said, be mindful because when people show you that they playing mind games with you, if you feel like they messing with you emotionally, sometimes you happy, then sometimes they make you sad and really, really upset. You know, sometimes, you you know, you, you thinking about them and all the great things that they did for you. And then the next thing you know, you thinking about all the things they did to tear you down verbally. And they just like, it's like they playing with your emotions. It's like, 
you feel happy, excited about them. You might love them one day. You might really want to be with this person. And then the next thing you know, you're like, nah, I'm not making the right decision. Look at what they're doing to me. Look at how they're treating me. This is how you know they playing mind games with you. They playing with your emotions, okay? they People like this, they get off on stuff like this, all right? And so how would you know, big brother trend, if they trying to use you to get to another level, okay? Test them. Step back for a while, okay? Take yourself out the picture. The same way they do you. I, I'm going to step back on huh? I'm going to pump the brakes. You know how they do. They some Decepticons. I can't make this up. I'm going to just stop. I'm going to just leave you alone. Just let me know when you ready. They always say stuff like this because they, they plan a battle with you and themselves. You know, they want to use you for your benefits. And as soon as you take it away from them, as soon as you take away that drug or that high that you are providing them, regularly they that's when the games is going to begin that's when they're going to start playing you with your mind they're going to start making you feel like you're the bad person they're going to start making you feel like you got emotional issues and your heart is closed and they're going to start making you feel like you're not ready to be in a relationship they're going to do all this stuff why because you take away that benefit that they using you for okay Ch chances are don't be fooled by these decepticons they have other people that they associate with, but see, they done butted you up so good. They done told you all the great things about yourself. Oh, you got a good arm. Your right arm looks stronger than your left arm. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, you got them good lips, girl. Mmm, you look, look good, girl. You be feeling good. Man, you know, hey, man, boy, you working now. I be seeing you doing your thing and all that. See, that's that thing. They going to butter you up. They going to pity pat you. They want to they offer the massage your shoulders and everything because they trying to get you in the right position to start spitting all them benefits out on them. Okay? See, you don't see this up front. You just think, you just taking it all in. Oh, I am pure. I am pretty, ain't you? And I know I do. Yeah. See, you just taking it all in. You know what I'm saying? You just taking it all in and sucking you and they sucking you dry. They 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 getting you to they looking back at they looking at you from behind closed doors like, yeah, I got you. I got you. I got you. You you cause you biting the bait. Okay? They using you to get to another level. And I'm telling you, they doing this to somebody else on the side. Don't be fooled by these people. They got people on the side that they doing the same thing to you. But see, they come back to you to do the same thing to you that they're doing to them because they're trying to get to another level. They're trying to use people to get to the level that they want to be at versus doing the work themselves. All right. Now, another thing you got to understand about people that play mind games with you is just, it's all about energy for them. All right. These people are like black holes. They suck everything in, but they never spit nothing back out to you. All right. That's how you know a person is a Decepticon. That's how you know they're playing games with you. Is if you feel like they sucking everything in, they taking all of your energy, they taking all of your time, they taking all of your hard earned resources. But what do they ever have to give to you? Nothing. Nothing. Every blue moon. That ain't enough. Huh? And so what they want to do is they, they, they try to put that grip on you. They try to grip you with all of that flattery and, and, and telling you how good you is to them and making you feel like you the, you like you number one in their life. OK, well, really, in all actuality, you are the chosen one. You are the one that they really want to be just like or they want to have the same things that you have. But see, they try to make you feel like you number one, but you could be number two or you could be number three or four. OK, and so what they want to do is they want to get this hold on you for your energy. And then as soon as they run to the hills, they want you to they want you to be giving all your attention and all of your energy to them. They want you to be constantly calling them. They want you to think that since because they didn't respond to your messages that you are crazy. They want you to be calling them. Hey, what's up, man? What you doing? man? What happened, man? You ain't responding to my message, man. They want you to be like that. And then when you hang up the phone, they're like, <laughs> yeah, I got them. I got them. It's all a game for them. It's all a game for them. That's all they want. They want that feel good energy like you normally have. They want to be like you. So they can't stand that you actually living good and you doing your thing and you don't need them. See, they want to feel needed. 
That's why they want to have your attention, and that's why they play these games with you, because they want to feel needed, and they want to feel special and involved with the great things that you are involved in, but they don't. So they run to the hills on that mountain, and they hope that you're going to come after them and get them. You know what I mean? So that's one thing you need to know. Next thing you need to know, too, is social media is dangerous nowadays. Social media allow people to play games more than ever before, right? Don't get it twisted. When y'all see people on y'all Facebooks, and y'all Instagrams and, and stuff like that. Don't get it twisted of the image and what they look like. Some people just take pictures of only their good moments and when they're happy. They could be living the most miserable life. People don't even look like what they look like on their profiles, y'all. They don't even look like that. Most of the time, they be catfishing. And then, and then when you see them in real life, they look like a damn, uh, 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 damn iguana and a damn uh, uh, guacamole. Damn, you know you look ugly when you look like a guacamole. Huh? Yeah, they do. They don't really be looking like that. You know what I'm saying? They just put that image up there so that they can fish people in to their lifestyle. He's showing all his jewelry. He's showing all his car. He out in the club. He 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 he's showing everybody that he living that life. He ain't really living that life because he he asking you for money. How he living that life when he need money from you? How he living that? How he living that life when he asking can he come and stay with you? What they do that at? He ain't really about, about that life. You know what I mean? And so what they want to do is they want to make their life appear like their life is like yours or their life is better than you are. When really, they live a boring-ass lifestyle. Their life is not exciting at all. Their life is very boring. You know what I mean? But see, they play mind games with you and try to make you think that their life is really is like important. Like they really do have things to do. They don't really got shit to do. They just looking at you from that mountain and just seeing how much attention you giving them. Seeing if you going crazy for them. And it don't matter if you got status. I don't give a damn. You can own your own gym. You could be a, a fashion designer. You can be a hairstylist. Whatever you do for a living. If you got some kind of status. Okay, if you got some kind of status and you a special per person, maybe maybe your name might be popular or something, or maybe you might be the best promoter in the city or something like that. Well, since you got that status, since you got that notoriety and that fame, they gonna still they gonna still play mind games with you just because of that, bro. If she know you a man, a businessman, if she know you got things going on for yourself that everybody don't have, like the typical man don't have, she gonna play games with you. Just because she knows she need more attention, okay? She gonna play games with you. Listen, I see it all the time, just being me, just being trendy. When I go into the airport, when I go into stores, ah, trend, that's really you, bro. Come on, bro. Let me take a picture with you, bro. Let me chop it up. This is my girl right here, man. This is my daughter right here. Hey, let's chop it up. I get it all the time. People play games with me. Matter of fact, when um I was in the restaurant the other day, I was sitting by myself and it was seats on both sides of me. And then this chick comes up and sat right in the seat right next to me on the cell phone. And I'm just like, wow. So why would somebody come sit? I know I wouldn't go sit right beside somebody if there are many seats available at the, at the bar. I wouldn't do it. You know what I mean? But she did it. She comes up, sat beside me, and she's like all loud in her uh, AirPods and stuff. And, and I'm just like, wow. Like she, she must know me. And because she kept looking at me through her peripherals, I kept seeing her looking through the sunglasses like she was looking at me like she wanted to say something so bad, but she was acting like she didn't know me at the same time. You know what I mean? Like it felt like that because I could feel the energy and her energy was like, talk to me, say something, say something. I'm not saying nothing to you. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know you. And besides, you're on the phone. Right. You know what I mean? So I'm eating my hamburger or whatever. And some just was like, don't say nothing to her. She's a Decepticon. She just want to make you think that, you know, she's pretty and she's right there. And you should say something, Trent. So I just sat minding my business while eating my burger. And the next thing you know, this, this older guy comes up. Hey, baby, how you doing? Hey, baby, I'll be right here. I'm about to get my food. And, and she looking at him. I knew it was her man. She looking at him like, oh, okay, baby, okay, I'm on the phone. Okay, okay. She wasn't really trying to get rid of him because she was on the phone. She was just trying to get rid of him because she was trying to bait me into speaking to her low key. And see, that's why you got to be careful because people try to set you up. Who knows? Her man could have been somewhere looking at her where she sat down at and looking at me at the same time and see if I would say something. But since I never say nothing, he came over there and, and got in between both of us and started talking to his girl and then she slid down when he sat beside her you see what i'm saying you see the type of games that people play if you're not gonna be direct why be indirect tell the truth stop being fake okay and so like i said man 
Even if you got status, that don't matter. People will still begin to play games with you and they'll try to make you think that you're the crazy one or you have the problem or the issue when really it's not you. It's really them that's Decepticon, okay? Another thing you should know is, listen, just don't buy into the game, folks. Don't bite the bait. Don't bite the bait when you first, when it first come, okay? You got to understand, people play games because most of the time they immature, they still childish, you know what I mean? They play games. Some people play games through social media. You know, they play games uh, through communication because they got third grade level of communication knowledge. They don't even know how to write. People don't even know how to write no more days, let alone read. Okay? So you got Decepticons popping up all everywhere. You know what I mean? And then you got to understand too, some people are just fake and they don't want you to know how they really living because in, in, in reality or on social media or for the, for the world, they want to think they keeping up with the Joneses. They want you to think they really got it all together. Like they really got it going on. Oh, I got a house. I got a house, but you can't even pay your own rent. You know what I mean? They want you to think that they got all they ducks lined up. Like they are this high value person when really they a low value person and they fake. They living behind an image. They living behind a facade. And see, they don't want you to get too close to them. That's why they always start playing these games where you where you chasing them. So that way it gives them the upper hand. It gives them the leverage to be able to talk to you when they feel like it, whenever they have their damn hair done. Because you know they don't got the money to get the shit done on a regular basis. Huh? I can't make this shit up, man. Huh? Huh? And see, another thing you got to be mindful of, too, is when people start playing mind games, you got to take that as a message from God. Maybe God is trying to save you for something. Maybe this person is really crazy, okay? Maybe this person is really dangerous, and, and they could put your life in, in de jeopardy. And so God is like, hold on. I'm going to give you some chance to think about this because this month is crazy, all right? You don't want it. You don't know what I know. I'm God. I know some shit you don't know. I know some shit on your dirt. Huh? You don't know it? And so God be giving you a chance, like, don't press it, don't get all upset, don't get all emotional, because they not giving you what they want. This could be a person with a damn disease, a sexual disease. You don't know, but you steady going crazy over, oh my God, when is going to call me back? When is going to call me back? <laughs> yeah, you don't want to get in, you don't want to get in a relationship with him. You don't know what he got. He might be saving you. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and another thing is he could have a he could have a warrant out for his arrest. And he just knows that he's doing on the low. You know, he could be scamming, he could be doing anything. He might have a warrant out for his arrest. And guess who they gonna get when you get caught with him? Both of y'all. So you gotta sometimes you gotta sit back and you gotta think about God and, and what he could be doing. Why he not letting this person come into your life the way that you wanted it to be. Sometimes watch the signs, listen to the signs. If they playing mind games, do not fight for their attention. Hell no, we're not running and chasing nobody. Where they do that at? And keep keep in mind that when you take a, if you take a benefit away from them, just look at their response. Look at how they react. All right. And do this person make you feel good right now? All right. Do you have good energy right now, or do they give you that type of energy like where they making your whole day go bad because they not responding to you? If they doing that, they got a grip on you. They got a hold on you. All right. Now I wanted to say this to the people that made it to the end of the video. All right. If you got a person in your life that you cannot get out of your life, they 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 know the gift of gab. They can talk to you whenever you want them to talk to you, and they know exactly how to butter you up and say the right things and all that. If you got a person in your life that you just cannot resist, and they they oh they like sweet sugar to your soul, okay, but you still want to get rid of them. That's when you call your big bro trend. Book a session with me right now, which is going to be in the very bottom of the comment section. Not the very bottom, but the top of the comment section. Click that link. Book a session with me. I can talk about this person with you. You don't got name, no names. I can talk about this person with you and how to slowly get this person out of your life. All right. Uh, if you have not gotten into my crypto team yet and you want to make digital currency money this year, because it's popping, y'all. It's popping. We got a whole slew of people that's on the team, okay? If you want to be with a team of like-minded individuals like yourself and you want to learn about this crypto, sign up right now and become my Patreon. We're doing Zoom calls and everything. And, oh, my God, we have so much fun. We talk about so much, <laughs> so much smart stuff. We talk about smart stuff, okay? Make sure you sign up with us right now in the comment section. You'll see where it says become my Patreon. Oh, yeah. I put the money vortex back up. Okay. The money vortex is back working. If you want to sign up for the money vortex and you have not got it like the rest of us chosen ones, you need to go ahead and get that money vortex. You are not meant to work. You are meant to attract money into your life. 
okay? So my money vortex is back up. Get it while it lasts. It's in the comment section at the very top. It says money vortex. And remember this video, folks. As they start playing mind games, when they start my playing mind games, just do this. Do what I just told you in this video. Say this video. Subscribe to my channel. Make sure you turn on the bell icon so you can be notified every time your big bro upload new videos. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace. God bless.